Oh, yes. Let oh, me yeah. tell you uh, how seriously I am taking tomorrow night's interview with James Comey. Mm -hmm. I read his book. <laughs> Last night, I also hunkered down to watch his warm up interview with George Stephanopoulos. <laughs> it was full of juicy details, like Comey's first meeting with Trump. What was your impression? He had impressively coiffed hair. It looks to be all his. I confess I stared at it pretty closely. Oh. <laughs> you stared at his hair. That is so insulting to Trump. My eyes are down here, James. <laughs> Comey had more notes on Trump's appearance. His tie was too long, as it always is. He looked slightly orange up close with small white um, half moons under his eyes, which I assume are from tanning goggles. Wow. Wow. He I don't know what he's doing next, but for his next job, he should go from Justice Department to judge on RuPaul's Drag Race. <laughs> the, uh, I gotta say, uh, I gotta say, um, uh, you did work it, but the, uh, the concealer wasn't working for me. Uh, sachet away. Okay. <laughs> okay. Got the, tone. the reason Comey was meeting with Trump wasn't just to introduce himself. He was there to tell Trump about the contents of the Steele dossier, specifically the hot liquid contents. How graphic did you get? I think as graphic as I needed to be. I did not go into the business about um, people peeing on each other. And he interrupted, started talking about it. You know, do I look like a guy who needs hookers? Yes. <laughs> yes, you do. Of course, a lot of people think that Trump is all Comey's fault because Comey announced that the FBI was reopening the investigation of Hillary Clinton 11 days before the election. So why'd he do it? Because I was operating in a world where Hillary Clinton was going to beat Donald Trump. I was operating in that world, too. <laughs> and I desperately want to go back to that world. <laughs> or anyone. In fact, I've been crawling in the back of every wardrobe I can find. <laughs> and Comey told us how he felt the day he was fired. What's your first thought? That's crazy. How could that be? I don't remember being angry. I thought it's crazy to fire me. I drank red wine from a paper coffee cup and just looked out at the lights of the country I love so much as we flew home. It's red wine in a paper coffee cup, also known as the middle school teacher special. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Quiet! Quiet, we're watching a movie today. Braveheart counts as history. Don't tell your parents they got boobies in this one. And Comey says the way the Trump administration is organized reminded him of something. I had a flashback to my days investigating the mafia, La Cosa Nostra. I'm sorry, Trump just doesn't seem tough enough to be a mob boss. Luca Brazzi sleeps with the fishes, but I sleep with the filet fishes <laughs> But like La Cosa Nostra, Trump has appointed family members to key positions. But unlike the mafia, none of his relatives are competent. It's all explained in the new movie, Godfather 4, Oops, Alfredos. <laughs> Good. All it was you, Fredo. Fredo. <laughs> it was you. <laughs> what about the shine box? The point is, James Comey thinks Trump is unfit to be president. So he must support impeachment, right? Wrong. I think impeaching and removing Donald Trump from office would let the American people off the hook and have something happen indirectly that I believe they're duty bound to do directly. People in this country need to stand up and go to the voting booth and vote their values. And so impeachment in a way would short circuit that. You hear that, America? James Comey thinks we deserve three more years of Donald Trump. Quiet, Jimmy. We're watching a movie. We'll be right back with John Dickerson.